Hello everyone, Alex Rules 7 here, back for another scrap mechanic video. Today we're going to be doing a review on this spaceship called the Trident. I need to make a video. I haven't made a video in six days. I can't make a Mochar video. It's too complicated right now. I can't do it. And I'm just gonna. I just found this. I'm gonna review it. It's gonna be cool. Uh, yeah. So in seriousness, I found this thing on the Steam Workshop, and I have tested already, and it is pretty cool. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get Luke on a scrap mechanic. Uh, world. Uh, every time I try to call him, he doesn't answer me. And kind of surprise him with this. Uh, I did not build this. It's a review. It's called the Trident. I, have, I don't know who built it. Uh, yeah. Um, so basically, it's it's a it's a flying. It flies. It's not an airplane. Uh, I do I do have an airplane. I have I have a bunch of a bunch of stuff. Actually, um, creator, Fow Banjo Master. Uh, yeah. So this is this is the controls. I show you that. Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's a spaceship. Uh, it's not really an airplane like this. This is a propeller airplane. Uh, I didn't like it. Helicopter, uh, and you need mods for this. Yay. Uh, but anyway, um, enough of that. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> if we kind of... Let's go over here real quick and then place it down. This is what it is like just on... like I should probably do this on flat land, but anyway, we break that. That goes down, and then... The cockpit opens up. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Where am I going with this? But you just hop up here. Uh, I'll get rid of this because that's annoying. The driver's seat is in the back here. And, like, all the buttons are up here. But the driver's seat is in the back. And this doesn't have buttons. I guess it's just for a passenger. Um, but here you go. Uh, so you got a bunch of switches down there. Uh, so let me kind of zoom out. So uh, the last one, I don't know why he did this. The last one, which is the ninth one, closes the cockpit. Which, which is cool. So now it's closed. I mean, yeah, you're kind of peeking out a little bit. Um, the second one starts the engine, and it kind of does that with the wings. Uh, the first one is the landings, or the, um, yeah, I guess those landings. That's not what they're called. I don't know what they're called. Um, but you, I wouldn't want to, eh, you know what, screw it. Yep, see, there you go. Um, and then, you know, there all the other buttons are just different controls. I'll show you when we're in the air. Um, but basically what you do, you push 2, you get the engine started. I, I, I keep on getting, yeah, I should probably get that in. There you go. Uh, and then you just get rid of that, and then you're already kind of hovering. Now, it's not 3 and 4 that um, is up and down. It's 7 and 8, so right now I'm holding down 7, which, which accelerates you more. And as you can tell, uh, also 8 is decelerate. We're not, well, you know, up and down. Uh, and you know we're kind of tilted, so three and four are tilt, I guess. I don't know what's called. Uh, so now, now we're perfect, and then well, not perfect, and then you can kind of see it's a little more tilted uh, this way. So that's what five and six are for. So I'm pushing six, and there we go. Now it's pretty much straight. Uh, and then, yep, that's all the controls as well. Um, you can open, you can open up the cockpit, you can yeah, do all that stuff. But how you move is actually W A S and D. So if you hold down W, it goes forward like that. Same with um, backwards Let's see we're going backwards here I guess so yep there we go uh, when you when you do that you might want to um, go up a little bit more <laughs> and then a a and D also is move, move but I, I I don't know if it's me or it's just like a glitch when, when you do that it tilts and I don't like that but you also have like the um, main like engine thing there on the wings and the front uh, the front there uh, kind of tilt to perfect um, alignment, so you stay in orbit like this. Yeah, let's just, let's kind of fly it around. Oh no, I'm holding S. Oh, uh, I love how when you hold S, it that's that's kind of cool. It's red light. Um, but also, uh, hold down five, you can go up. Look at that. It's so cool. Yeah. So uh, now now is the uh, time where I uh, show it off and yeah brag. Because I'm so cool. I, I can fly this. Look at this. It's actually kind of fun to fly. I'll leave the link of it in the description. However, it's going to be on Steam. So if you didn't get Scrap Mechanic on Steam, you can't use Steam to get it. But there we go. There, there, there it is down there. And I, you can just jump or you can properly land like everyone else should do. So let's find a good place to land. I don't know. Here. I'm, I'm purely just using WASD right now. And then let's... Let's land and then hold down eight to go down, but you want to make sure our engines are still on, because even though it's on and just holding down eight, you're actually going down way too fast. 
Yeah, you can kind of see that. Because you kind of just gradually just fall. And then maybe go for it a little bit. There we go. And then turn the engines off and get out of the cockpit. And that's how you do it.